Welcome to this how-to session. My name is Alfred Ayodeji, a senior consultant with Tegris Consulting, and I'll be taking you through this presentation titled Creating Custom Dashboards in SAP Business One HANA. Okay, let's jump right into it. I open my SAP Business One window, and the first thing I would need to do is select my pervasive analytics. You can navigate to pervasive analytics by going to your tools, and pervasive analytics or clicking on the icon at the top of your toolbar. The pervasive analytics window allows me to create new dashboards, new KPIs, new advanced dashboards, as well as edit existing KPIs and dashboards, even the out of the box SAP Business One HANA KPIs and dashboards. For the sake of this presentation, I am only going to create a new dashboard. So I click on the new dashboard bu button. Now I would need to select my data source saying, hey, where do I want my dashboard designer to pull data from? I click on the select data source button and it opens my select base data source window. Here I have two options. Do I want to Base my data, base my dashboard of a query or a calculation view. I will start by basing my data source off of a query. General, I select my open opportunities query and click on OK. Next, it asks me for targets and measures, and uh, for measures and dimensions, which basically uh, would form my x and y axis on my dashboard so for this presentation I am going to select the value of my opportunities as my target measure and select the name or the lead name as my dimension so automatically it pulls up the bar chart or the column chart um, with my sum on my y-axis and my lead names on my x-axis Additionally, I can ch easily change this bar chart or this column chart to whatever kind of chart I want, be it a line chart, it automatically does the change, be it a pie chart, an area chart, and so on and so forth. I'm going to select the column chart, and that's it. At the bottom of your screen, uh, another cool feature is you can select or you can easily limit the data or the number of data you see in this um, dashboard, on this dashboard. Um, currently, it says limit to top 10, but I want to limit it even um, down further. I say limit to 5 and automatically it shows me basically the top 5 opportunities by value. I see, I can easily see that at 500,000, I have done the Mifflin Paper Company as the lead with the um, greatest value. Additionally, I can click on my on this view, which basically is uh, transforms the column chart to a table view. So easily, I can see that I have 500,000 for this lead, I have 148,000 for this lead, and so on and so forth. Now I can go to my filter and parameter um, tab. Here I can tell the system or tell the, the uh, pervasive analytics that I only want to see a specific or a few or a group of leads. I click on my leads, I drag it to my active filters and it automatically populates um, the filter editor window with all the leads I have available. But I, for some reason, I want to take out Andreas Ackerman away from this, um, from this dashboard. So I select everybody else, select on the Mifflin, select Aquent, select a shaker and maybe maxitech if this is fine i click on add 
and it will be select the top five based on the filters I have put in place. I go back to my basic settings and if I am completely fine with this bar chart or with this column chart, I can save this and give it a name. Okay, I click on OK and save this dashboard successfully. Close this and the next thing I would like to do is add that dashboard to my screen. I go to add. And I can easily search for the dashboard based on the name I saved it at, saved it with. There it is Open Opportunities Dashboard. I add that, go back. I can adjust the size as required. And save this. And now I have my Open Opportunities Dashboard on my main window. So that's it for this session. Um, if you have any questions, please email support at techgris.com and we will be happy to provide you with a solution or a response. Thank you.